Hacker Peep will steal your identity. If you don't like and subscribe right now. Hey everybody, it's me, Jared. Welcome to Daily Dose of Memes, and today we are going to talk about very, 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 very oddly specific posts that may or may not be true that are going to get a little weird. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. How do you politely tell your visitor it's time to go home? Smiley face. Well, if you're from the Midwest, you just say, well, really forcefully and slap your knees with your hands and stand up. Other Midwesterners will recognize the signal and say, suppose we should head out. Oh, this was an ad I got on Reddit. It says, Tasting my kid's barf pushed me to pursue side gigs. What the fuck? Ten years from now, you'll put on a jacket and find a mask in the pocket. Oh man, what a weird year that was. You'll chuckle to yourself. Then you'll pick up your machete and continue across the wasteland, keeping to the shadows to avoid the roving gangs of cannibal raiders. The fact that homeowners associations exist is wild to me. You buy an entire house and some lady a couple's door down can tell you that you're not allowed to display your antique frog statue and you have to pay a fine? Insane! <laughs> Leaving a watermelon on someone's doorstep in the middle of the night is a pretty inexpensive way to occupy a portion of their mind. Forever. 2029. My TV starts flashing red with an alert because I lied to Amazon Prime about how many people are in my living room watching Trolls 5. They send 15 cops in riot gear and kill my dog. I'm not allowed to shop at Whole Foods for two weeks. Your wife has been kidnapped and is being held in a location 30 minutes away. You're driving to rescue her. It's a warm night and your windows are down. Do you listen to music on the drive there, yes or no? Jack Black is literally the only human that never needs any context from me. I could see him going anywhere and doing anything. Like, if I got abducted by aliens, and just saw him just wandering around the spaceship putting bugle chips on his fingers to make it look like he has claws, I would be like, that's some classic Jack Black right there, and not even <laughs> question it. People protesting for Disneyland to open so they can walk around in the blazing sun for seven hours to go on three rides, then have the worst family fight in years, and silently drive home. Sounds like someone didn't have fun. My worst nightmare is Spotify randomly throwing out an Ed Sheeran song whilst I'm driving, and then I crash and die, but it keeps playing, so the first responders think I was an Ed Sheeran fan, and they tell my mom, and I end up being cremated to freaking shape of you. New dating app idea. It's called 7.5. Only for people who are like a strong seven, maybe an eight on a good day, who look kind of athletic, but would probably die if they had to run a mile, have depression, but the kind that makes you funny, car's check engine light is on, no one else allowed. If you're bored, you can simply close your eyes and rotate a cow in your mind. It's free, and the cops can't stop you. Oh no, I simply do not have time for a 30 minute workout day, I said to myself as I proceeded to spend the next two hours watching videos of turtles eating strawberries. Why is every Reddit relationships question like I, F29, love my fiance, M34, except whenever we fight, he takes a dump in the living room, then ref makes me refer to his dump as Mr. Hoskins and apologize to it. Am I overreacting? Our wedding's in six hours. Every city has a guy they all know about. You can visit a friend in their town and see a man dressed in robes riding a horse and your friend will go, oh yeah, that's horseback Jesus. And then, I can't even finish this dude, horseback Jesus. I once heard Ska described as what plays in a 13 year old's head when he gets extra mozzarella sticks, and nothing in this world is more accurate. This is booty shorts. <laughs> With two QR codes on the butt that lead to a PDF of the Communist Manifesto, a page where you can stream Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Anyone else go through that occasional phase where toast and butter is just the tastiest freaking creation on the planet, and you have to restrain yourself from eating an entire loaf of bread in 10 minutes? Or is it just me? Imagine getting in a cab blacked out, 
trying to make it home and you wake up with $3,000 in your pocket. You panic, because you don't know how you got the money. 10 months later, you're watching TV and see your drunk butt getting in the back of Cash Cab and nailing all the questions. People cry doing their math homework? Some of you never had to spend hours in the kitchen table crying as your dad shouts, what is three times seven? Microwaves have like 32 buttons, but you only need about four, including number buttons. Look me in the eye and tell me you use the seven key. Dog shelters. Don't buy puppies. Consider adoption instead. Also dog shelters. This is Piss Fingers. She's 19 year old and can't live in a home with children, books, or electricity. Piss Fingers is nervous around hair and needs 400 acres of land and an orchard of extinct fruits. Happy first official day of the Christmas tree season. Pro tip, if you ask your salesman if they have any of the really good trees and the guy tries to sell you weed, don't report him to his boss. It was just a misunderstanding and he was trying to help you, Mrs. Evans. You didn't actually staple your nuts to your desk again, did you? No. Then come here. Okay. Sounds of test sliding across the floor. If you ask a coworker, how are you? And they say, well, I'm here. That translates to, I need you to push me off the roof. We can make it look like an accident. If I die, I'm finally free. If I live, we'll sue this place and split the money. Please, for the love of God, help. Do you ever wonder how many stories have been told about you? I don't mean rumors or gossip. A story like, one time I was at the mall and this girl dropped her hot dog, but she picked it up and ate it. What if I'm that girl? How many times have people seen me do something I thought no one saw and is now being used as an icebreaker at a family dinner? Mmm! One time, I was in this historical park in New York and I was climbing a tree in order to get a good photo, and I fell out just as a family was walking past. Two years later, I ran into the mom at the shop and shop and she gasped and said, oh my god, tree girl? And I've never been the same since. For me, it was the time that we went camping and the family next to us brought uh, a package of hot dogs where me and my girlfriend brought an entire crock pot full of baby back ribs. What do roosters do? The roosters may break up hen fights, find and give treats to the hens, encourage egg laying, and even monitor the nest boxes. Roosters are beautiful. Roosters are classic farmyard icons. They're gorgeous to look at in many cases. Roosters have a lot of personality. Did a rooster write this? Me, taking a piss in my own house like normal. My anxiety. What if someone slipped you hallucinogenic drugs and you're actually in Walmart right now pissing in the middle of the store? Me, we'll confront that problem when we come. Children's media really made it seem like getting sprayed by a skunk and needing to take a bath in tomato juice was a when, not an if. I think my favorite part of every fight is during takeoff when the pilot screams, bend to my will, metal skybird, and take us to the big blueness. And all the passengers chant, sky, bird, sky, bird, to convince the plane to take <laughs> What? Never seen this in my life happen before. A Soviet soldier training his backflip Tom <laughs> throws. Imagine being some poor German child who was being conscripted in 1945. <laughs> and the last thing you see is a freaking Chad Ivan 360 no scoping your butt with a tomahawk while doing a backflip with enough vodka in his system to kill a bear. <laughs> Serious question. When someone's telling you a sad story and crying, how long should I wait before I take a bite of my corn dog? How come when a house is haunted, it's always a ghost from the 1700s? Imagine a ghost from 2007 screaming, It's Brittany, bitch, at 3 a.m. If I had a nickel for every time I got John kicked off the swim team for putting laxatives in their Gatorade before trials and blaming it on him, I'd have one nickel. Mate, freak you! <laughs> Gen Z will never know the feeling of sliding the VHS tape out of the box, pushing it into the VCR, and then having the FBI raid your house because your dad did a bunch of Enron stuff. <laughs> oh, so when other people call their pets fur baby, it's fine. But when I call a kid a skin dog, somehow I'm disgusting and the worst pediatrician in this hospital? 
There are two kinds of people. The ones that pack six days before a trip, and the ones that wake up day of and realize they need to do a load of laundry. And they marry each other. I bet if they made Ratatouille Tool, it would have been like Ratatouille International. And they would have entered a cookery contest and met chefs from around the world, but they all had different rats in their hats. Like a sushi rat, and a Guy Ferrari rat, and a Germany rat called Ratwurst. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this video. I hope you got your daily dose of memes. If you did, let me know in the comments below and subscribe to always hit your daily dose of memes. I'm Jared, and I will see you in the next one.